Hello, it's Bus Felix here, and welcome to the official start of the 2014 edition of the MLC Shiro di Italia. This Shiro di Italia will start with the Team Town Trial, which you're seeing on screen right now. I would like you to pay attention to the wind, and it's raining. The conditions are horrible in Belfast. Today, it's going to influence everyone that the wind is 50 and it's raining. Who is going to win? The three favorites for today's stage is Jelly Belly, 3M, and Team Katusha. Jelly Belly, we're seeing on screen right now, it's Langbor's team. They have Richie Port, they have Simon Jaren, Steph Clement, Pozzavivo. All these guys are pretty good at time trialing. In front of them, we have the first team to start today, which is Team Europe Car. And that's fans are controlled by Jerry Hutton. And we had the big upset with uh, Phil Schubert getting picked very early in the first round. We'll see how we'll do. We won't expect Jobkar to do much today. They will cross the first take point right now in a solid first position. But it's because they're the only team out there. Soon we'll see Jelly Belly what, Jelly Belly, what they're going to do. They're going to set the mark for teams to come. Behind Jelly Belly, Movie Star is going. On Movie Star, we have Sylvain Chevenel and Rui Costa. Both really good time trialers. And they will set their mark on today's stage. Jelly Belly is down. Down one second on Team Europe car. Langbor has to be really disappointed by that because Jelly Belly are one of the favorites today and they should be winning at every single time check. Here we have my good friend Baseball Lovers team. His team is a, uh, is a wide variety of uh, good riders like Talansky, Farrar, Finney, and then you also have Andre Sanchez, uh, uh, Fingef and Bilson, and you have some more guys on there. So Bruno Sancho, well, you can't call him a mediocre guy. Bruno Sancho is a god and will always be a god. But everyone is behind Team Eurocar. Team Eurocar has really been setting a pace. One of the reasons these guys might be going first into every single checkpoint is the weather are classic, like, like, in the classics, it's always rainy, it's very windy, eclumps appear and all that. And we see that this classics team with like uh, Nikki Terpstra, Butter Poles, Greg Van Allen, Michelle Baird, they all like this sort of weather. Down here, Jelly Belly, we have all the GC contenders, and they're not really a big fan of this sort of weather. And at the second time check, they actually beat your car by two seconds. So it looks like Jelly, Pe Jelly Belly is picking up the pace. What about Movie Star? Where are they looking? Sixth place with eight seconds behind. That's a disappointment. But that's the second time check. They're beating Europe Car. Europe Car is losing steam. Towards the finish right now, they're losing steam. Jelly Paley is picking up steam, but they need to put in a really good time to make sure that Team Katusha, 3M Sky, all these other teams don't catch up. Even Movie Star might be a risk today. BMC put up a time. With four seconds behind Jelly Paley the second time check. I think Baseball Lover can be happy about that because his team is not that good in the, in the team time trial. So that's a uh, risk respectable result. Now of course Jelly Belly is first at the final checkpoint, beating Team Europe Cup by only one second. So those classic-like conditions really made a difference today. And Team Europe Cup is only one second behind Jelly Belly. What a surprise. How will these guys do? They have the king of the classic, Silver Shadow on this team. So they should be doing pretty good. They get third, four seconds behind. Not an optimal start for uh, Rui Costa. He didn't lose too much time, but still you'd like him to be up there. Losing to, to Team Europe car in a time time trial, probably not the best, but considering the conditions today, I think it's acceptable. But here we have BMC crossing the line, 14 seconds behind, speaking about unacceptable. But here, Team Katusha has been going really fast, beasting out of time 10 seconds faster than anyone else at the other time checks. Yes, they do. They beat about just three seconds. They lost team towards the end. Who crossed the line first? It was Bradley Wiggins. We might see Bradley Wiggins in the Maglia Rosa. But... Cavendish is the favorite to take it tomorrow though. If Team Katusha keeps this up, there are bonus sprint, bonus points for taking the sprint tomorrow. So we might see Cavendish do that. But here, 5 hour energy, putting in one heck of a time. Only 3 seconds behind Team Katusha. Very ex very exciting. Here we have Ian Wilson's team, Madison Genesis finishing. Giannis Brekiewicz, the team leader, will lead the troops over the finish line. And they're getting 4th, only 4 seconds behind. The teams are so close today, except for Baseball Lovers BMC. But here's a team that will be miles and miles behind everyone else. It seems like something to think of with like guys as Jim Sung So, Jonas Stemper, uh, Carneo, Alphalia, and Gaywood falling behind already. Not really that <laughs> good stat at all. So those guys are probably going to be 1 minute 30 behind or even more. Uh, and post chain reaction, Steve Smink's team putting in a, an acceptable time. These guys are stage hunters. You won't be looking at these guys to win the GC or win. But probably they got Stefano Parazzi. This guy's known for going for the mountain jersey. You might see him attack like a crazy man. That's why he's got 84 fighter. So we'll see a lot of attacks from him. Probably go for the king of the breakaway and also Sima Sopoli and also the mountain jersey. There are points to get there if you go in the breakaway. But speaking about breakaway team, here is Top Ball Flander, and this is Fiaskic's team. This entire team is built around, built around getting in the breakaway and doing something. They don't have one specific leader. 
everyone on this team basically has 75 mountain or above if they so any one of these guys can win from a breakaway. I don't think they will work together for the GC though. But if they did, they would have one heck of a team. But that's not how the AI works. Here is Marty C's team. Omega Fabric Quickstep with Kwiatkowski in the front. Really not putting up that great of a time. With being 27 seconds behind and out of top 10. Terrible news. But 5 hour energy seems to be the surprise so far today. Second place, 3 seconds behind. Let's see, but on the screen right now, we see the two dudes team crossing the line real soon, but I want to check 3-hour energy, it's an American team, I think, or 5-hour energy, 3-hour energy, they've got Bonin who can sprint, they've got Viviani and Bonin, so those guys can actually take bonus seconds tomorrow, so look forward to that, we might actually see a fight for uh, the Maglia Rosa, and here, Orca Greenwich, 6 seconds behind, I think two dudes would have liked to have been faster than that, uh, he's got Christopher Horner, he's got Basel, he's got Koenig, all these guys can climb, Losing 6 seconds, it's not bad, but come on, you want to start with a bang. Speaking about starting, hopefully not start with a bang, I think this one was a dud. Uh, there were 16 seconds behind in 11th place, pretty horrible for hands, Paul. Next team to finish is Team Nedab and Jora and Want to Go Berg. How is Anavari's team going to finish? They were actually third at both checkpoints, are they going to surprise today? Oh, they got 8th, 9 seconds behind. These conditions have really made it close today, and we see the win has gone down. We might see some teams finish faster than others. We're still, oh, here's 3M. 3M was 4 seconds behind us at the first checkpoint. How are they going to do at the second checkpoint? Here they were, 2 seconds behind. We're going to have a real sprint finish for 3M. Can 3M catch up to Katusha? This guy, this team has guys like Castavera and Talon Kanger, and they're protecting Valverde. Also, Androno, Androno Malori is on this team here, so watch out for these guys. Here we have Trek Racing Factory, Ebel Bosenhagen is leading the team to the line. How will they do? They've been kind of medio mediocre in today's stage, placing in the middle of the peloton, and it looks like they will also finish like that, so not... That good of a result, but these guys are riding out for Kroisigo. Kroisigo can get in the top 10. What the heck? They got second place? It looked like they were getting nowhere. And suddenly, Trek Racing Factory gets second place. I think the conditions played a role in this. Let's see. 3M. How are they going to finish today? The wind has gone down since uh, Katusha was out there. Is 3M going to win it? 3M got 10 seconds. It looks like the conditions really pay made a difference here. 3M leading the race. With 10 seconds, but here is Team Sky. Team Sky was first at the first checkpoint, second at the second checkpoint. Kajalao released the team. Oh my god, only 2 seconds behind. Team Sky out of nowhere, but the real winner today was 3M. And Bennett and Sousti gets to wear that Maglia Rosa in this weather conditions. But tomorrow, Echelons will appear. 50, uh, 50 wind? I mean, come on, that is going to be rough. You're really going to be looking out tomorrow. Cancellara in 2nd place, or in 8th place, only 2 seconds behind, this guy might go for a breakaway and get some uh, intermediate sprint points, watch out for that guy, what about the, uh, the young classification, Fabio Aru doing good, Moreno Moser can sprint, we might see Moreno Moser do something, Raffle might get down in 6th place, that's a disappointment for 2 dude, he would have liked to have done better on the very first stage, but congratulations to Kama Power, proving that first pick is very crucial in the MLC draft, getting first on, first on the first stage, come back tomorrow, we'll be seeing a fight for the first place, uh, what's his name? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? The Cavendish can take the jersey tomorrow. Cavendish can uh, honestly take the jersey tomorrow because if he's 10 seconds behind, he can then sprint and get bonus points. So watch out. The fight for Mag on Maglia Rosa is not over yet. Come back tomorrow for Echelon Sprints and Action. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.